I saw the flash of light just before I went Oh, what a beautiful sight Then I was flying I was flying Oh, super book I was afraid to look Super book Oh, super book story, Here Comes the Bride. Well, it's time for another visit to the house just down the street and around the corner, where it's a normal, noisy day in the lives of Professor Peeper and his son, Chris. Okay, now, Ruffles, you catch a ball. Ow! You throw like this. Yeah, there. Catch. Ah, uh, good. Ah, uh, there. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Noise. Oh! What's the big rush, Joy? I gotta find Chris, Professor. Something just terrible has happened. Chris! So terrible, it's perfectly all right to knock me down. Don't you and Christopher know that I need peace and quiet for me to finish my work? Four? Five? Hmm. Will you stop having so much fun and take a look at the awful news in this fan magazine? Oop. Let's see. Olivia Figgy Jack Mary Superstar Barry Manny High. Well, what of it? What do you mean, what of it? Don't you understand? He's supposed to marry me. All he had to do was wait for me to grow up. Phooey! How could he disappoint me? Whoa! Gosh. A can. There. Phooey. Boy, oh boy. Please forgive me. I'm not angry with you, Christopher. Someday I'll meet someone strong and kind and sweet and good. Gee whiz, that seems like a lot to ask for. I don't think I'm strong and kind and sweet and good. <laughs> lady in the pink dress? That fellow's handsome, too. Don't you feel like we've seen him somewhere before? You have seen him before, when he was a little boy. He's Isaac, son of Abraham. But the question is, where? Do you know? <laughs> well... That is what I said. 
Hello. Ah. <clears throat> Do you know where we are, Chris? Chris? Hey, Chris! Huh? No, I don't, but I'll ask that lady. Thank you. What's gotten into him? What do you think is making Chris act so weird all of a sudden? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Now you're behaving like you lost your marbles, just like Chris. What's the story? I will ask the lady. What? Uh, hi. Oh, uh, pardon the intrusion, but I'd just like to find out where we are. Um, I, I, where, I mean, uh, well, I'll ask. Huh? Hello, my name is Joy, and his is Gizmo. How do you do? And mine is Christopher. <laughs> my name is Rebecca. Don't be embarrassed about losing your way, dear. This is the city of Nahor. <laughs> Let me help you with your bucket. Gizmo's all wound up. Hi, I'll do anything for you, Rebecca. Well, what do you know? I've got the feeling I'm falling. Oh. <laughs> I guess so. I didn't know you could sing. He can't. <laughs> This is not going to be an easy task that my master Abraham has assigned me. It's not an easy task that I'm assigning you. Steward, my son is growing up now and it's time that he should take a bride. But none of these local girls is good enough for Isaac. I want him to have the best. Because you are my most trusted servant, I am going to ask you to take over a very special mission for me. Yes, what do you wish? Find a wife for my son. Take a trip back to Nahal, where my relatives live. Once you have found the right woman to be Isaac's wife, then bring her back. Hmm. But what if the right woman isn't willing to leave her folks to marry a strange man? Ah, then that'll be a sign you've not found the right one. Have faith. Master Isaac. I long for a wife. Will you find her? I will try. Oh, Lord, I need your help if I'm to succeed in my master's mission. Please, give me a sign. I'll go to the well at Nahor, where the women gather. If I ask one of the women for water, and she gives it to me, and offers to water my camels besides, let that be a sign that she is the one to be Isaac's wife. <laughs> Yeah. Way we wash our uh, will you hold on there, please? Oh. Huh? Please, dear lady. May I help you? Would you be kind enough to give a drink of water to a very thirsty traveler? Of course. Just hold up your hands. Ah. Help yourself. Oh, your camels look as if they need water badly. I'll run and fill the trough for the camels. Thanks. Now, that's the way that I think a real lady should behave. Oh, is that so? Well, I think a real gentleman would lend a hand. I would spring into action if I could. Please. I'll do it. Boy, were they thirsty. Ah. 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 I pooped. Excuse me. Hmm? Yes, what is it? Please, take this for your kindness. Oh! Oh, how lovely. May I inquire the name of your father? I'm trying to find a certain family here in Nahor who'll give me lodgings for my stay. Oh, Beth Huell is my father's name, sir. One other question, please. Yes, sir. 
If he's Beth Yule, is your father the one who is Abraham's nephew, miss? Yes, sir. My father told me I have a great uncle named Abraham. Ah, wonderful. Your uncle's my master who sent me to see your family. Will you take me to your home and find out if your parents can furnish me a place to stay? I'm sure they'll be happy to have you. See, we have lots of space, and there's plenty of food and straw for the camels. But if you'll excuse me, I'll just run ahead and let the family know you'll be arriving. Of course. Dear Lord, you have surely blessed my mission. Lord, thank you for leading me to Rebecca. Please give me the power to be able to persuade her to become Isaac's wife, my lord. What's that man doing? I guess he's praying. Look, Laban. <gasps> Cold. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, sir? Sir, I'd like to introduce myself to you. I'm Rebecca's brother, and my name is Laban. It's a great pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I'd like to invite you to be our guest. Thank you. Come. I guess he's been invited to stay at Rebecca's. I wish we were. Why can't we stay there, too? Because we weren't invited, Gizmo. Where are the camels going? It's getting dark. I guess they're going to bed. <sighs> Looks like everybody has a place to sleep except us. Here you are. Eat your dinner. Go on, Chris. No way. Stop asking me. Oh, don't be such a big scaredy cat. Who's a scaredy cat? It was your idea, so why don't you ask her yourself? Besides, you're a girl. Oh, oh, nuts! I'm supposed to do all the dirty work because I'm a girl? Why can't you speak out? Uh, how about you asking Rebecca for us, Gizmo? Uh -huh. Not a chance. I've got a pain in my spring. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's that? Wow, Gizmo, that's a pretty weak excuse. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> well, well, fancy meeting you here, Rebecca. Tee hee. <laughs> we didn't mean to bother you. Oh, I'm sorry that I forgot about you children, but there was just so much excitement when that traveler arrived here. I meant to ask you to stay as well. Won't you join us? Have some dinner. Thank you. We thought you'd never ask. We were just fighting about who would pop the question, right, Joy? We wanted to stay here. It's embarrassing, but true. Well, I owe you a favor for helping me at the well this afternoon, don't I? So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Come, you must be very hungry. Thank you. We accept. No, no, I don't like to have any leftovers after dinner, so please don't hold back. Eat as much as you want. Right. You'll hurt her feelings if you don't eat like a pig. Thank you for your hospitality, sir. Father loves company. Wow. I never saw so much food. <laughs> Goodness, you don't really have to eat like a pig, Chris. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Wine, sir? No, thank you. I prefer not to have any before telling the reason why I've come. We can't wait to hear what this mission of yours is about. My father wasn't home when you first arrived. I think you ought to begin right at the beginning. Of course. Abraham is the one who sent me here. I have been his servant for many years. <coughs> What's wrong, little girl? Choking? Something clicked in her memory bank. We have met Abraham. Oh. <coughs> He must be thinking of Abraham Smith, who's a friend of my father's. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, look at that. They're so funny. Mm. Now listen here, Gizmo. You just gotta learn to keep your nose shut. <laughs> we know Abraham because Superbook took us to visit his country once. Don't tell them that we came here from the future because they can't understand. They'll think we're nuts. I will keep my nose shut from now on. That's the best idea, Gizmo. Let's go back, pal. 
My master Abraham is such a good man and so faithful to God that he has been blessed with many riches. He has herds of cattle and camels and sheep and donkeys as numerous as the stars, plus a sizable fortune in precious silver and gold. Ah, then my uncle is very rich. But there is more, my friend. When Abraham and his wife were old and childless, the Lord performed a miracle and gave them a son. Abraham's son is called Isaac. Isaac is now a grown man, and he wishes to take a bride. That's why I've come to Nahor. It was like another miracle. God led me to the well, and there I found Rebecca, the most beautiful girl in the city, and a relative besides. Sir, as Abraham's representative, I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Will you agree to let her return with me and become Isaac's wife? I believe that it is God's will that Isaac and Rebecca should marry. If you will give me your consent, then I will know that I am right. Hmm. I wouldn't be a good father if I withheld my consent to such a good marriage for Rebecca. And I believe it is the will of God. But I'll give my consent only if you want the marriage too, Rebecca. Mm-hmm. She does. Ah. Praise God. Now let me show you the wonderful gifts that my master sent for Rebecca. Oh. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Oh, thank you. You'll make a lovely bride. Now let's drink to the bride and groom and wish them a prosperous marriage. Yeah! yeah. Oh, Wasn't last night a good party? Hmm. Wouldn't it be great if we could go along to the wedding and then we could see Isaac again? We were not invited. I know. Why don't I go and ask Rebecca if she'd invite us? I don't suppose Gizmo would be willing to ask. I'll ask. Must you leave so soon? I'm sorry, but I was instructed to return with the bride as soon as possible. We weren't aware of that. We're not ready to bid goodbye to her quite this soon. What would you say to waiting for ten days or so before you whisk her away? If Rebecca leaves now, I'm sure Mother's gonna get upset. Please, just a few days. I need more time. Or else, when will there be a chance for me to make her clothes for the honeymoon? I understand. But I still must insist that we leave right away. My master is very old and losing his health. We must return before he dies. In that case, we can't keep her. Please, Rebecca, come here. We have to discuss something. Yes, what is it, brother? Rebecca, are you willing to leave with him at once? He says his master is very ill and he hopes to see his son married before he dies. Oh, dear, dear. Yes, I'll go. Be a good wife to Isaac, dear. Don't forget all the things your mother taught you. We'll miss you. I'll miss you. But look at it like this. Mother, you may be losing a daughter but you're gaining a son. Sure, you should count your blessings, because Isaac's a wonderful son. What? Why do you mean you know my husband to be? No, I was talking about someone else. He must have meant Isaac Smith. <laughs> <laughs> ask her, Chris. Rebecca, we'd like to ask her to come with you if it would be all right. Well, of course it would. Thanks very much. Now we can get to see Isaac again. But what do we do if he recognizes us? It's time for us to leave, Rebecca. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Forward! Goodbye! Bye! Be sure and give Abraham our regards. God bless you. Bye! 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 His spring is rung down, and it's too hot for us to touch it and get it going again. Oh, dear, what do we do? Children, don't burn your fingers. Here's some water. But what will you do if we use up all your drinking water, Rebecca? Don't worry. Just take it. Okay. There. <sighs> Here. Oh. Joy! Are you all right?
all right. Thirsty. I need water. Is there any water left for her to drink? It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Oh, oh. Hmm? Rain is a miracle. Rain! Rain! It's nearing time for the servant's return. Will he bring me back a bride? Ah. Oh. Look, there's Isaac over there. He's waiting impatiently to see if I have brought him what he longs for. There's Isaac, Chris. Where? There, don't you see? Yeah. Gosh, he sure grew up. You may go to him, Rebecca. He loves her. Yep, doesn't everybody? Mm-hmm. It was love at first sight. Hmm? Say, haven't I met you before? story. Rebecca and Isaac were the most beautiful couple I've ever seen. You'll grow up to be just as handsome as Isaac, too, Chris, I know. Mm -hmm. And I'll wait for you, too, I promise. Chris, wanna watch a ball game on TV with me? Sure, Dad. Be right there. <sighs> you like me better than baseball, don't you, Gizmo? Tune in next time for another exciting adventure from me. Superbook.